Hello and welcome everyone. Thank you for joining today's webinar. My name is Nikita Devre. I'm a senior digital marketing executive at Crave Infotech. Before we getting started, I'm going to go through some housekeeping to ensure you can interact with myself and the speaker. Firstly, if you wish to ask any question to presenter, we have Q&A section and chat feature enabled. We will also be launching a poll question in today's webinar. We invite you to participate by selecting your responses when they appear on your screen. We will have Q&A session at the end of the webinar to answer your questions. Now I would like to welcome Murli and Ashish. We are glad you could be here today to share your insights on webinar, enhancing automation and efficiency with next generation intelligent asset management. Murli, the sales and operations director for Crave Operations in India. During his 20 plus years of industry Spoiler. serving, he has handled and executed yeah. multiple automation projects for pharma, manufacturing, engineering, healthcare, and IT industries. At present, he is working closely with various automation projects in India. We also have Ashish with us. He is senior SAP functional analyst, PM at Crave Infotech with 10 plus years of industry experience. He is handling various automation projects for different industries like pharma, manufacturing, oil and gas for the end-to-end -end implementation of plant maintenance mobile solutions. Now, before application briefing and demo, uh, we want to brief in short about Crave corporate portfolio and digital portfolio. So without further ado, I would like to hand over to Murli to start with the presentation. Over to you, Murli. Okay, thank you. Thanks, Nikita, for the intro. And I welcome you all in today's webinar of Crave Infotech. Um, uh, good morning, good afternoon, and good evening, wherever you are, because this is uh, people uh, join for different geographies. So uh, as mentioned by Nikita, about uh, we will be uh, talking about uh, enterprise uh, intelligent asset management um, solution of Crave Infotech. And um, before just the process uh, uh, briefing of the solution and the demo, I would like just to take few minutes to brief you about Crave Infotech uh, quickly, very quickly. So this is, um, uh, Nikita, I hope my um, screen is visible to all. So, um, Yes, yeah, so, yes, yeah. So this is the brief uh, journey of the organization. We are operational from last 13 years, started in 2007 from um, the head offices in New Jersey, US. And during these 13 years of um, the journey, in fact, we are working with closely with SAP from right from our year one. So in 2008, we partnered with SAP starting building products in white spaces. And during this journey of next uh, 12 years, in fact, we worked on several assignments. We were one of the um, ACE award winner. We were um, one of the Pinnacle award finalists and so on. So um, in the, this, this is about last 13 years, but we also have, um, complete strategy for our next three years roadmap. And we are, uh, I will brief about the focused verticals of the organization. Today here in 2022, we work in SAP BTP EM and by 25, we have all plans because we are one of the identified by SAP, one of the focus partner for SAP BTP um, services across the globe. And we are working very closely with SAP there. So um, this is about brief um, uh, organization. We have 150 plus consultants uh, working with 50 plus last, uh, large enterprise customers globally, uh, served a um, number of projects for uh, those organizations. Uh, we also have our 50 plus prepackaged products on SAP App Center, which are developed in UI5 Fury, powered by SAP BTP. And um, right hand side, if you look at the partnerships as along with SAP, we are Zebra partner, here technology partner, and Amazon and Google partner. 
uh, have needful certifications um, from the quality delay uh, perspective and awards as i already mentioned so coming to the focus verticals of the organization we are working in this space intelligent asset management intelligent warehouse digital supply chain and btp these are the four uh, four focused verticals in terms of when we talk about our creo solutions and from services perspective intelligent enterprise is uh, in sap space completely so in products the verticals as i mentioned in services it is right from resource augmentation to btp enablement fiori enablement customized application development smb to scp uh, and so on and in sap erp implementation space right from uh, implementation customization migration and support so these are the areas we work with uh, in SAP as well as in solutions. And if you look at this chain diagram, we are uh, touching almost every functionality of the organization in various departments, right? From enterprise asset management to supply chain to connected assets and IoT, then certain approvals, dashboards, MDM, uh, master data management, then uh, product lifecycle management, order to cash management dashboards, and all these applications are on SAP App Center as well, built in U U U SAP UI5 Fury. So it does not mean that we work only in SAP space, but since being SAP partner, we um, prefer to develop the solutions in SAP space because there all the applications are developed in Fury and without adding any layer, we uh, use your SAP environment to uh, uh, for this application. So these are some of the industries and customers, life science, energy, CPG, manufacturing, engineering. Uh, so, uh, and you will see some of the good name, names to our credit. Uh, they are giant in Indian scenario as well as in global uh, space. So with this, I will uh, come to today's topic about um enterprise asset management intelligent asset management and before that i would quickly like to cover the um challenges observed during this uh, asset services okay because we observe that the the uh, and these are all challenges probably everybody over here attending this webinar is facing when you work in this plants maintenance space so changing role of manufacturer operator service provider which is increasing the complexity of the products and services then static plan reactive maintenance policies established on installation which are not dynamic to operating conditions because we have to look at the journey of from reactive to preventive and predictive and i will i will talk about that model more so these are certain quite common challenges at marketplace inability to connect the data signals uh, silos across supply chain enterprises constraint resources uh, <coughs> uh, resources use of third parties dynamic demand services and increasing cost and we 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 observe it, these day to day things so uh, when we talk about entire plant operation there are three types of in maintenance especially there are three types of roles we see one is the maintenance engineer second one is the planner supervisor or manager or third is the head and if you look at everybody has his own set of challenges his own set of concerns and his own set of expectations uh, from the system when he work on his day-to-day -day activity. So, for example, engineer talks, he, he uh, uh, thinks more that I spend most of my time in data collection and data entry. Most of my decisions are based on experience and gut feelings. And I follow what my planner has. So, there is no system intelligence available. There is no system assistance available to automate the things. Whereas, planner has... Uh, the challenge that my equipment performance, risk, maintenance data are sitting in silos. I still follow the traditional practice of time-based maintaining maintenance planning. So there is no system intelligence, though no MIS, no reports available. And plant hits thought process is always how he can optimize the cost, how he can increase the efficiency, productivity, 
maintenance budget decisions are based on non scientific method so how he can adopt digital technologies like iot machine learning to reduce maintenance cost so these are and to overcome this there is a we call it as a complete maturity model of uh, asset management so it it takes you through reactive to pre journey of preventive then conditional base and predictive and we see most of the organizations today are still in either first or second stage of this model so this is one typical study uh, which we have came across if you look at left hand side this percentage everybody agrees that yes 76% of the people they agree that predict potential failures by leveraging data model is the, the, the this is important okay how to predict and 83% of the organizations consider it's important to have asset management processes and metrics standardized but what is the reality actually if you look at 21% only organizations employ predictive and preventive maintenance and 13% only these organizations are able to drive asset performance so these are all you know uh, actual or factual uh, data okay which uh, um, taken from some survey so uh, when we talk about the entire asset performance and uh, the automation it has four stages system of record data acquisition analysis and corrective action so when we talk about system of records it's your back end erp all equipment master bom order processing calibration all these data comes from the erp right then it goes we 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 have the records then so the system of records then from there we do the data acquisition with certain tools like iot then uh, uh, collaborate better information through certain collaborative platforms like iot platform sensors big data uh, ml uh, quality innovation cycle then we also use workforce management right asset manager calibration facility round managers and then we once we acquire the data we analyze that so we analyze it from performance risk and strategy assessment perspective predictive analytics perspective and for which we use certain tools right rcm maybe fme uh, rbi risk based inspections rca root cause analysis and so on so once we analyze it then we take the corrective action so there are the, it comes with recommendation corrective actions so this is the complete maturity cycle of asset performance and how we can map all various processes of asset management whether it is a flexible scheduling flexible dispatch with a uh, different uh, available environment from sap as well as from craven photic so for this and further to describe this entire process flow uh, how we are mapping various solutions over there the complete uh, briefing on the process and demo i invite my colleague ashish to take this forward so ashish over to you here yeah thank you morli yeah hello everyone so, so uh, this is the crave innovations where we have different different tools for scheduling and for capturing the plant maintenance activity so like if we want uh, you want to schedule the work like a maintenance work so we have one tool like flexible scheduling where user can assign the work to the technician and can check the activity uh um, like uh, how the users is uh, busy in that work that everything will be captured in the flexible sh scheduling then we have like tracking solution planning workbench approvals so we have one application called c workbench where user can uh, the planner can see all the details of the that specific equipment uh, 
dashboard how many preventive maintenance pending how many in progress completed that all things will be available in the planning workbench and another one will be approvals where like if your cost is going beyond uh, your uh, targeted value then it will ask for the approvals like l plus one approvals for that specific maintenance work so that part will be available and here we have mobile applications like in most of the industries right now oh the sap or system is available but the technician is executing the activity on the paper and then again coming back to the system uh, and they are entering so to avoid the paperwork here we have mobile solution where user can capture the preventive maintenance checklist on the tablet or mobile and they can also do the breakdown activity where they can add the spare parts and complete the work so here there is no use of a paper you can attach the images all the options are available that i will show in the demo so this is the uh, one we have the product so these are like we work in sap implementation end to end uh, plant maintenance and other models implementation then we have standard mobility called work manager asset manager also and here in the crave prepackaged solutions we have a solution which work in you know, offline like means most of the times in the production area there is no internet connection available and if user wants to do the maintenance activity so they are capturing it on the paper so to avoid that we have a solution where which will work in the offline as well so we have solution for calibration uh, preventive maintenance breakdown maintenance all available in one product called c maintenance then this is our implementation methodology where like project planning design thinking based on the customer requirement which part is required and this product c maintenance is totally configurable like means in the demo i will show you all the features which are available but some of the features may be not applicable for you so that we can disable enable if you want like some extra fields which is or some extra process you have extra approval at your industry so that we can add here then baseline configuration pro project realization and uat and golov so this is the implementation methodology so i will show you the like live demo so before that i will show you one process flow how you can do the maintenance activity through mobile so considering like the c maintenance we have like key functionality features like user can see the list of maintenance orders means if your maintenance is due then user can see it in the application then user dashboard will be available the self assignment or planner to technician assignment will be there user can release the order if in case of a breakdown you can create the notification from tablet itself then like in case of a preventive and calibration if you want to stick the label on that specific equipment so we have the functionality where with the offline uh, like using the bluetooth the printer will be connected handheld printer and user can print the label then you can see the history of the equipment equipment bomb non bomb list and this will be the final maintenance execution summary report like means if auditor or someone asks Uh, you want to see the list of uh, maintenance execution summary of that specific equipment so that will be available here and this solution is like barcode enabled uh, like uh, if we want to scan the specific equipment so you don't need to enter manually you have to just scan the barcode automatically it will fetch the equipment details it is 100% paperless solution so i will show you like process flow so we will just take one example of a preventive maintenance and how you can execute the preventive maintenance using crave c maintenance solution so here like some features will work online and most of the part will be the offline activity means for that you will don't require the internet connectivity so here uh, the order creation and all your data will be available in your one system sab but once it is the order is generated based on the tolerance limit or based on the due date of that specific equipment the maintenance order will generate and it will be available on the mobile or user then if you have like supervisor to technician assignment you can assign it and release the work then it will go for the technician so technician it will come the that specific order will come on the technician mobile and that person can execute the activity so here like we have added our considering the like uh, uh, audit purpose we have added the functionalities like pre approval so the owner of the equipment will provide the pre approval before starting the work so we called it as like a clearance so that production person will provide the clearance to the technician for starting the work 
then like most of the times uh, the maintenance order is generated for one equipment but the technician is not aware and he is doing the activity for some other equipment so to avoid that we have added one feature where if the barcode is available at equipment user can the technician can scan the barcode and it, the system will validate that the technician is doing the maintenance of the correct equipment or not so this is the one feature available so here from the block number five user will start the maintenance activity like work start observation capture so like in case of a preventive it will be a checkpoints in case of a calibration user can enter the reading whatever the raw data sheet available in manual or paper that will available in the mobile then user can add the material confirm the work then once the work is confirmed then it will be a like handover process to the production team so you will hand over the equipment to the production and they will provide you the post approval then once this activity is done the supervisor will review the activity of the technician and uh, if you want to print the label so label printing option will be available and when after uh, when the internet connectivity will, will be available that time you can click on the seeing data so whatever the activity you have completed in the offline will transfer to the your back end system so and execution summary report will be available in the sum, uh, in the system so you don't need to maintain the paper copies whenever you want you want to see the execution summary of that specific order you can uh, you can check it into the system so with this i will start the demo actual demo so first i will show you like how you can do the preventive maintenance using uh, uh, c maintenance solution so in the c maintenance solution will be available for uh, for the technician on the tablet and for the planner it will be a, like a dashboard so that one also i will show so first i will show you the technician application how the technician can do the maintenance activity so here uh, once user login into the system user will get uh, like tabs open orders my orders old orders so in the open orders it will show like all the orders which are open so for suppose for this month if you have 500 orders so all the 500 orders will display in the open order open orders list for all the users all the technician then technician knows that which uh, specific equipment he want to uh execute the maintenance so that you can search box is available here then filter is also available you can filter it based on the date now suppose you want to do the maintenance act maintenance of the specific equipment so you have to just click on this radio button it will get assigned and it will display in a my order star so now suppose you if you want to do the maintenance of this specific equipment you have to click on this row so once you click on this row it will redirect you to that specific equipment order details screen so for that specific equipment here you can see the order number description equipment equipment description where it is located and all these fields are configurable like maybe some fields are not available which required for your industry that we can add all these are configurable now here three tabs are available like checklist material and history so it history will show like uh, for that specific equipment how many times the breakdown happened uh, when last preventive was completed which person has attended all these details will be available in the history so now checklist before starting the checklist here you will get all the checkpoint so first user need to start the work so right now the technician is at production uh, area along with the tablet and we will start the activity and before the start of start the activity if you have the scenario where you, uh, the person the owner of the production person should take the uh, give the handover to the specific uh, technician so that person will provide here the approval or you can call it as a clearance so this can be happened through web based application also so that a specific production person will provide the approval and this will show the history and then user can start the work so this start will be captured as a actual start date time of your work so all audit trail will be available in the system like when you have started the work when you have captured the point everything will be available so now one by one user can start the activity uh, preventive maintenance activity now suppose for any points if you found some issue or some observation is there so here you can also add the comments 
and for any observation if you required like a spare part so you can go here your equipment bomb list is available or if equip if it is not available in a plant like equipment bomb you can go with the, all the materials which are available in your uh, for your plant suppose i want bearing so i can search it it will work like a fuzzy search i can select that specific uh, material so and suppose i required this for the operation 0020 that i will select i can select the quantity and will click on okay so here also you can add in offline but if you want the reservation number for this specific uh, material then you have to click on the sync so automatically here the reservation number will generate and from this reservation number technician can take the material from the uh, warehouse department then same way user can start the capture the remaining points and once the remaining points confirm all points are captured then you can confirm it and once the work is confirmed that will be captured as your end time and then it will be a sign off like means uh, supervisor will review the activity and will provide the sign off on this and once you click or done with the activity if you click on the seeing data or whatever the activity you have completed will transfer to the system or even you can go back and execute the other orders as well and for the getting the execution summary you can get this type of a report um, in the system it will be available based on your data captured it will show like preventive maintenance order equipment details then where it is located location details it will show for each checkpoints what was your observation that will display in this uh, execution summary report and here if you are using any material so material details will be available what when you have started the activity what was the end time what was the total duration so that everything will be captured here and based on your requirement it can be customized and here it will be like a digital signature which person has performed the activity which person has reviewed the activity so this execution summary report will be considering your audit purpose so you don't need to maintain the paper copies you can directly show this one as a execution summary report so this is related to the preventive now i will show you like one glimpse how calibration activity you can do so this is the one application like planning dashboard this will be for your uh, planner activity so planner can see uh, like how many orders are open confirm take or close and if you are using the hr module it will show the employees with how many works are assigned here it will be available like order management open orders confirm orders so this list will be available in the uh, for the planner web based application will be there and planner can log in and check so planner can plan the activity using this c workbench application so here it will be like notification management order management and reports will be available so suppose for the one order if uh, the planner want to check so you can click on this order number and it will show all the history of that specific equipment like what was the mttf mttr how many notifications are generated how many orders are generated uh, the permit then if measuring points are using a list of characteristic so this is basically for the planner where planner can plan the activity so if you if planner wants to have like attachment so here you can do the attachment like uh, in case of a breakdown if you want to take the pictures of before uh, before breakdown and after fixing the breakdown so that you can attach here in the attachment section so camera option will also available here then material tools so everything will be available in this application so now i will show you how you can do the calibration activity so same like uh, preventive maintenance here the list of calibration will be available where in the calibration the technician can assign the work or supervisor can assign the work and if you go inside this specific instrument 
uh, it will you ask you for selecting the master instrument. So you can select the master instrument which are available. Maybe sometimes the vendor is bringing their master instrument. So we have a provision that you can also maintain maintain the vendor masters, and based on the due date, it will be available for the selection. So you can select it. the specific master instrument then you can release the work so if it is integrated with the sap qm module inspection lot number will generate then this is the our customized functionality like before starting the work if you want to take the pre approval you can take the pre approval from business so business person will enter the id and password and will provide the approval so it will show like when it was digitally pre approved so everything will be there in the audit trail then you can verify the instrument so if you are using the barcode then you can directly scan the barcode and you can verify that you are doing the calibration of the correct instrument or not or you can uh, if the barcode is, qr code is not available right now so you can also manually manual option is available there so now once this activity is done then user can start the activity so once the activity is started then your raw data sheet will be available in the mobile so here based on your reading user has to just enter the values so suppose for first reading i am getting value as a 12 and if it is going outside your range so at, at the run time the application will show like your reading is getting failed like sometimes user is getting the correct value on the instrument but due to some uh, typo error they are entering the wrong values so before updating it into the system the application is showing like your value is going beyond the limit so here you are will be the value and then you can save it the in additional data like you can add how what was the receiving condition of that specific instrument what was the room temperature uh, humidity the in remark by the technician and save it so once all the activity is done then you can the technician can confirm and proceed the work so once confirm it will ask for the check by so like supervisor can check the activity that user has entered the values correctly or not and can provide the approval so based on the uh, like your readings user decision will be decided like this instrument is fit or not fit or fit with ot so that everything will be based on your user decision so automatically it will capture here the engineer person will provide the approval and then the equipment will be released for the production for the for for the remaining activity and once all the activity is done then uh, whenever the user network will be available that time user can sync the data or if you want to do the multiple instrument calibration at a time you can go back and again assign the another instrument and you can do the activity for the remaining month so once everything is done then user has to click on the sync data so all the activity performed in the offline will transfer to the system and for the calibration also like one execution summary report or calibration certificate type report will be available so this will be the like calibration report where you can get the details uh, then here which in instrument you are calibrating what was the range acceptable limit everything will be available here <clears throat> and here you will get like which master you have used for the calibration that details will be available it may be external or internal so that the details will be captured and in the bottom like which person has calibrated which person has checked by and here in the second page it will show like a calibration result what was your master reading the lower specification upper specification what was the error and pass and fail for each point whatever we have entered from the application that will be available in this result and based on that what was the decision that the instrument can be used cannot be used or fit not fit that will display here in the in this section and then it will be a remark
so this is this will be the report which will be available as a execution summary so you don't even you don't need to maintain the certificates then so this is the overall our maintenance uh, product where you can do all the activity like from planning to execution and closure of the work Yeah, Nikita. Yeah. Uh, thank you, Ashish. Uh, thank you, everyone. So I'll be launching the poll question now, and I request all the attendees to participate by selecting your response, and then we can move forward to the Q and A session. The poll questions are live. I request everyone to uh, go through the poll questions and uh, answer the questions. Uh, first question we have is, uh, are you facing any challenges in a current asset management process? Uh, then second question is, uh, are you planning to digitize your current asset management process? And uh, third question is, would you like to have a detailed discussion with our team for Crave IAM solution? So I request everyone to go through the questions and uh, uh, fill the questions. So uh, in the meantime, we can also move ahead with the Q&A session. I think we don't have uh, any question, but Manoj Shah has raised the hand. I'll allow him to talk. Uh, you can ask your question. Hello. Uh, yes, Manoj. Uh, yeah, I have asked a question. You can see in questionnaire list. Oh, yeah. yeah. So in one uh, PPT, there was online and offline segment. Uh, yeah, so Manoj, like uh, for the preventive or calibration, yes. So first time the user need to be online. OK, yeah, like that's, suppose that's, why, that's why my question. Yes, yes. Like suppose in the morning, you you, are, you know the plan activity, like you have to do the preventive maintenance of four or five equipments, and this person is going to work. So mm -hmm. as a supervisor, you will assign the work to the technician. And that technician need to log in, in online, so user will get that specific work which are assigned to him. Okay, fine. Yeah. Thank you. And Gradish has raised hand. Yeah, one question from Praveen. Is there any option of our master changing uh, with one instrument uh, with one instrument testing? one instrument testing is there any option for master changing within one instrument testing yes you can change the master like if you if you have like one requirement where you can change the master at the time of doing the calibration so that provision we can provide also uh, we have one from gautam can you please share some of your install base where you have uh, deployed your solutions yeah so we have implemented like uh, this solution is based on like uh, mo SAP mobile platform and with the SAP. So we have uh, installed this solution at like Dr. Reddy's Sun Pharma and one uh, Aquarian Water Company in US. So at this uh, three to four places we have deployed it. Okay. Also, I'll allow Rajesh to talk. Uh... Ashish, this is Rajesh Kumar. You show us a web page yeah, app, kind of, it's a Fury app, right? Uh, yeah, it is a Fury, but it is like based on the customer requirement. It is in a SAP UI5 develop. No, so for example, license SAP license, we have to buy. Yeah, so yes, definitely you will require the SAP licenses for this one for using this application. So each user I have to buy, right? Yes. And the PAPO license also record for this for integration. Sorry, sorry. PIPO license also required for this integration? Uh, no, it will not require. Only like uh, standard SAP PM module implementation is required. And based on that, uh, if you have the user licenses for using the Fury application, then you can use this application. And I hear, I saw some more demo, okay, not from your company, some other company. What they are doing, they have okay. one user, uh, user ID person for this uh, kind of application, okay? So mm -hmm. all the data is mm -hmm. getting posing with the You are not audible, Rajesh. Oh, I saw some uh, demo, okay, where mm -hmm. we not required many user ID. 
one common identity assigning to the yeah uh, so so it depends like in your case if you have only single id for the one plant and the remaining uh, persons want to execute based on that uh, common service id so that one is also possible we can do that okay thanks yeah uh, we Thank have you. one question from nishikanta um, how uh, we will know that the instruments is calibrated and accepted the the calibration yes so like uh, instrument is calibrated so whenever the work is done and confirmed by the technician and once he's seeing the activity it will update to the system and it will update to the planner as well ki this calibration activity is completed mm -hmm. and for the like calibration is fit accepted or rejected so based on the reading like if you in your case if you have like one formula uh, if my uh, specific reading is going beyond the error so the system is automatically calculating that it is accepted or rejected so based on that it will uh, accept the accept or reject the calibration activity uh, praveen uh, is asking one question what is the logic for pre uh, predictive maintenance yeah so for the predictive maintenance we have like a separate solutions where like some sensors will be available at the equipment level or if you have any specific sensors right now available and based on that uh, we will get the data uh, based on the frequency and considering that uh, specific uh, uh, specific readings or values we are getting based on that we are uh, deciding the predictive maintenance of that specific equipment Uh, Vyankat Krishnan is asking one question. Does EM cover fixed assets like land and building, vehicles, furniture, etc.? Ah, uh, yes. Okay. Uh, then Nishikanta is asking one question again. SAP license required or not to implement this module? Ah, uh, SAP license will be required. Uh, Gautam Bajaj is asking, uh, the solution is off uh, premises or on premises? So it will be available at both. Like if you want to go with the cloud, like SAP cloud platform mobile services, then uh, that option is also available. And off premise, like uh, it was earlier SAP mobile platform. So off premise also available. Okay. Uh, Umakanta is asking, uh, has there is uh, any options to capture the online process parameters of uh, product wise? one product and review uh, the history as well uh, in this module uh yeah so like in case of a breakdown like for one of the customer they want like breakdown analysis uh, uh, for the equipment so for that yes we have that analysis also like uh, if you are capturing the item item parts in the at the time of breakdown so based on that uh, we have solution where we can show the history of that specific equipment Uh, then Praveen is asking, can you share planner preview? Ah, uh, yeah, definitely we will share with this. Okay. Um, then we have one from Praveen. How many days before we can predict? So this prediction is like uh, so it will be based on your data. So, like, suppose if there is within, like, if it is, like, suppose we will give the example of that due to some vibration, we are getting the readings which are outside the limit. Okay, so based on considering the samples, we can say the uh, send the like mail or trigger the something, uh, something to the user, so they can predict it. So, so it depends. Like, we can configure it based on your requirement. Like, if you want the instant or if you want, like, if it is going the beyond the four or five times, then only you want to uh, send the reminders. So that is configurable. Yeah. Uh, Venkat Krishnan is asking one more question. Have you uh, you have mentioned EM covers fixed assets, but nothing was mentioned regarding the same in this webinar. So wanted to reconfirm. Uh, uh, yeah, so here we are not covered, but yes, separately we can connect and we can demonstrate that as well. Gautam is asking, is the preventive maintenance time based solution connected with production control system for real time running hours for preventive maintenance schedule? Uh, yes, so like your all the schedules will be available in your SAP system. So like if you have uh, time based uh, frequency already scheduled in the SAP, so in the mobile application also based on whatever the schedule is generated the same will reflect into the mobile application 
देन निशिकांता प्रधान इज आस्किंग क्वेश्चन वीडीए और एबीसी एनालिसिस इज पॉसिबल विद दिस मेंटेनेंस मॉड्यूल uh yeah that we can do right now we don't have this one analysis in the application but yeah based on your requirement we can customize it is this module uh, will give uh, auto information for critical spare of machine based on the history of maintenance uh yeah it is also possible in this application mm. Yeah, Nishikanta, you have raised your hand. Uh, you can unmute yourself, or if you want to speak, you can speak as well. Uh, thanks. Uh, this is Nishikant here. Uh, but already I have asked my questions. Uh, yeah, okay. you, whenever we will uh, correspondence one to one, then uh, specific requirement we can uh, have it. Oh, sure. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. i think gautam asking ui can be customized yes it can be customized uh, yes pravin you want to ask something yes right. okay not a problem so i think uh, we are done with the q and a so if any of your questions are still not answered you can contact us on contact at craveinfotech.com um our team will answer your questions we'll also be getting the recording of this session uh, when uh, like as soon as it is uh, available okay uh, thank you everyone thank you for joining the webinar so uh, we'll close the webinar thank you ashish thank you mullin thank you everyone yeah thank you